friends i am going to tell about emergency fire pump this you can see is an engine driven emergency fire pump and it is used during the emergency like in an engine room fire where we cannot able to start the engine room fire pump so what we do we will start this pump and this pump will discharge to the fire hydrant line you can see this is the centrifugal pump this is the discharge valve this is the reserve chamber on the suction line this is the local valve this is the reserve chamber air vent valve and this is the c suction valve now for starting what we will check we will check the diesel oil level we will check the lube oil level in in some we will check the battery voltage and we will open the c suction valve we have to lift up the decompression lever and Now we will close the C-suction valve. Now after closing this C-suction valve, we will release the air. After releasing the air, we have to close this valve. Now at the end of this C-suction, there is a non-return valve. So this line, this line remains and this chamber remains full of seawater. Now sometimes what happens, the pump doesn't take suction. So what we do, this line, this discharge line is connected to the fire hydrant. So what we do, we will start the engine room fire pump. We will give the supply to the deck fire hydrant line and open this discharge valve. So by gravity, what happens that uh, water in the fire hydrant line comes and fill this reserve chamber. And at the end of this, there is a non-return valve. So water will remain inside it. We will start the pump and in this way, we can do the priming and now after that the pump will take suction